You want to to my channel? Okay, let's all solve this. We are asked to solve the equation 9 over 4x minus 5 over x plus 11 over 3 is equal to 0. Now, this is what they are fractions with unknown at the denominator. When you are faced with something like this, what do you do first? You clear this denominator so that you have a linear equation. The question remains, how do we do that? Okay, follow me. Let me show you how to go about this. When you look at this particular question, you are going to notice that at this point, what is the LCM of the denominator? That is the first thing you need to get. The LCM of this denominator, how do you get it? The denominator, sir, we have 4x, we have x, and we have 3. Now, to get LCM of any number or any set of numbers, what you are going to do is, when you look at this number, what can divide any of them? What do you think can divide any of them? Two, right? The lowest number that can divide or the smallest number. Two. Two divide four x, you are going to have two x, right? Two cannot divide x, it cannot divide three. It's a render. So you bring those ones down. All right? So at this point, two can go again. Two will divide here to give you x only because these two will cancel this remaining x. You still bring down your x and 3 because 2 cannot divide them without remainder. So at this point, what can go? 3. When 3 divide here, you still bring down your x. You have 1 here. 3 divide 3 will give you 1. Now what is remaining? x. x will divide x. 1, 1. Once you have 1, 1, 1, you are true with your LCM. So what is your LCM? Now your LCM is what? 2 times 2 times 3 times x. Which is equal to 2 times 2 will give us 4. 4 times 3 will give us what? 12. 12 times x will give us what? 12x. Hope you understood. So it means that the LCM is what? 12x. Alright. So what do we do with this LCM that we just found? All you need to do is you multiply each term of this equation by their LCM. Multiply each term by LCM. So we multiply each term by the LCM. Multiply each term by what? 12x, which is what? The LCM. Okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, so what does that mean? 9 over 4x. 12 is going to multiply 9 over 4x. That is number 1 right minus 12 we also multiply this that is 5 over x times 12 x okay plus this 11 over 3 plus what 11 over 3 times 12 x over 1 okay is equal to 0 just look at what i did what i did is this all these numbers these fractions each of them, I multiplied it by 12x, okay? So 9 over 4x times 12x minus 5 over x times 12x plus 11 over 3 times 12x is equal to 0. Do you understand? No need of multiplying 0 by 12x. It still gives us 0. 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Okay, so what do we do now? You know, these 12x, you can bring them down as 12 over 1, 12x over 1. Now, x we cancel x here 4 divide itself 1 divide 12 you are going to have 3 okay that means that what we have in this bracket now is what 3 times 9 that is what is remaining minus for this one x we cancel x so you are left with what 5 times 12 5 times 12 plus for this side now 3 divide itself it will give us 1 right Divide 12, you are going to have 4. Divide x, you have x. So we are left with what? 11 times 4x. Okay? Is equal to 0. Now, 3 times 9 will give us what? 27. You have 27. Minus 5 times 12 will give us 60. You have 60. Plus 11 times 4x will give us what? 44x. Plus 44x is equal to 0. 27 minus 60, you are going to have minus 33 plus 44x is equal to 0, okay? I want this 44x to be on its own. That is because I'm looking for x, so I need this to be on its own. So if I write this 44x is equal to 0, 
all right this minus 33 needs to live here so that this plus 4x will be on its own right so this minus 33 we cross this equation sign to become what plus 33 the sign is going to change okay so what are you going to have here we're going to have that 44x is equal to 0 plus 33 will give us 33 okay is equal to 33 all right so we divide both sides by 44 why because we need the value of x we need x and for us to get x to be on its own it's only 44 that can cancel 44 for us to have x so whatever we do to this side we do it to the other side that's why we used 44 to divide both sides so this place now we are left with only x our uh, x is equal to what can divide both numerator and denominator with our remainder 11 11 divided 3 we give you 3 11 divided 44 we give you 4 so it means that our x is equal to what 3 over 4 and this becomes your answer please i would like you to subscribe to this channel because i would like you to miss the next class okay subscribe and also hit your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified thank you for watching and bye